Okay, everyone, so today I'm going to do yet another, um, what, what is it, another international cooking dish. I have some ground meat, I'm not showing, but I will be uh, frying it later. And other than that, this is basically, I need some soy sauce, but the main, main ingredients other than the meat and the soy sauce, I'm going to be making um, my version of Chinese stuffed egg, uh, eggplant and eggplant is my favorite favorite vegetable and I want to show people different ways of cooking vegetables I'm gonna try I'm not gonna promise but to have lots more vegetarian and some vegan dishes on this channel and some meat some dishes with meat this one has meat but the star of the show is the eggplant so these are some baby eggplants this is some minced garlic, minced ginger, green onion, and this here, I'm just gonna ask for a close up. This is Chinese five spice. I have it from, from here where way before the pandemic, we had gone to the bulk barn. That's where I get a lot of my spices from. And we got Chinese five spice. Now, the recipe I was going to, oops, sorry. The recipe I was going to follow um, as for Szechuan peppercorns, which is almost, I'm finding, practically impossible to find. So I might try to see if I can find a substitute for that. But many of the recipes I've looked at don't ask for it. And there are other spices. So given this is Chinese, a very popular actually Chinese dish, I'm going to try my best with what I have. Again, this is pandemic cooking. And Chinese five spice should give the basic flavors, but I will research this some more. And I will come back, start closer. I'm, I have this baby eggplant, and what I'm doing is I'm making some slits in it. It's a little tricky to do. And I'm gonna have to see if I should cut, maybe I should just cut a little bit from those slits. But what I'm going to be doing is, sorry about that, I'm going to be, stuffing this baby eggplant with the stuffing that I make from these various ingredients plus the meat. And here you go, you can see the close-up of this. Okay, so thank you very much and I will be back and we will get started. Thank you. Okay, so before I forget, I did find, I couldn't find my Szechuan peppercorns, unfortunately. But I did find a very, very interesting substitute because I imagined correctly that um, many people probably don't have Szechuan, access to Szechuan peppercorns in a pandemic because it's not, you know, an essential um, you know, thing for living. So what spice or, or essential item or, or whatever you want to call it for living. So what they have suggested from what i've read is to have some black pepper and i'm just going to put some coriander seeds in here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm not going to do the whole thing here but i'm going to show what i'm doing which is getting my handy mortar and pestle which i've shown on previous episodes i am getting the mortar and pestle and I am grinding, but not very finely, because I want some of the, um, I don't know what to say, some of the wholeness of the spice mixture to sort of come through. Um, so this is my preference, you can do whatever you want. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix it with something I have here, which is some of the scallions I had shown before some a little amount not very much because the recipe actually does not call for this but this is what i'm doing some uh, grated ginger some grated garlic the five spice i showed before and a few of the scallions and what i'm going to do is i'm going to dump the um little szechuan peppercorn substitute that i just made i'm going to dump that mix that all together and then it smells very nice by the way then in the blender I have the um, ground meat and the seafood I was going to do without but I am actually going to try something new and I'm going to try it um, this way and so I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to 
blend this and see what happens because this is what you are supposed to blend these ingredients together and that is going to be your stuffing so let's see what happens I have been blending this and I'm just going to dump it into the bowl and stuff the eggplants with it and then fry the eggplant. So this next step that I'm going to be doing is a little bit unusual. I just wanted to show the consistency. It's um, not a smooth, smooth paste. It's got some texture to it, but this is out of the blender. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bowl. I have some oil heating. And it, the recipes I've read does not do not say to fry um, this meat mixture, but I am going to. And the reason is because I am just very, very super, super cautious about making sure that anything that has meat is properly cooked. And what is going to happen is once I stuffed stuff the eggplants with this mixture, I I'm going to very lightly fry that, the stuffed eggplants, but then I'm going to steam. And the thing is, the steaming and the frying between the two, it should be cooked, but this is just an added precaution. And I really don't feel that this is going to take away um, much from the um, flavor, the texture. And in fact, I think, if I may say so, I think it will, if anything, it will improve. So I'm just, I think you can hear it sizzling. And so I'm just going to continue frying this very lightly. And then I'm going to stuff the eggplants and then I will be back showing you how they look. Okay, so as is my style, I'm going to attempt several things, several things at the same time because this is the way most of us live these days especially. So I have the, um, the filling here. And I also have in a small saucepan a little bit of vegetable oil and I have it on medium-high heat and I am going to start making the sauce in that little saucepan and the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to stuff the eggplants because I found a bit of a discrepancy from what some people do. I've seen Indian stuffed eggplants. I've seen this done a lot in different um, you know, with different nationalities, stuffed eggplant. And there are some subtle differences and not so subtle differences. So first of all, this looks pretty good, but according to the, the basic recipes I'm following, this is not the way to do it, actually. So this is not the way to do it. What you are supposed to do is have both ends of your eggplant sliced, so it looks like this, and then have two, or if you're eggplant is very very small just one um, slice so actually while I do this I'm going to sort of jump and I'm going to put the minced garlic and the minced ginger to make the sauce okay so while that's going um, back to this so you put the stuffing in here and then what you do is you fry each end of the eggplant with the stuffing in so I'm going to proceed and do that. And I, what I also wanted to mention was, in my case, I've done like a rather big, big, um, not just a slice, but indentation in, or pocket maybe is a better word, so that I can get as much stuffing as I can in there. Okay, so I didn't just cut it diagonally. I actually, I just wanted to show, I actually took wedges of eggplant like this out of you know, of the eggplant when I was cutting it. So just to show you all that, and I will be back. So to this sauce, I'm just um, frying up some garlic and some ginger, and I'm gonna be adding some soy sauce to that. Some, let me do this. I'm going to be adding some soy sauce. and some vegetable broth. You can use chicken broth, but I have some vegetable broth on this. I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to be 
um, making this into a thicker sauce, so slightly thicker sauce with some corn star starch um, to taste, and I will be back. Okay, so what we have here is all the stuffed eggplant. Did they ever look cute? Actually, they sort of, it almost reminds me of when we were in school and we had to get our pictures taken and we all had to line up. So, um, anyways, <laughs> managed to line these up and I'm frying on each end and sort of see the oil and you can hear the sizzling and it doesn't look the best maybe I can blend it um, but it smells really nice and this is the sauce uh, actually I might just strain it that might actually work so it's um, vegetable broth um, soy sauce garlic and ginger oh does that ever sound nice so I will be turning those over and then we will be putting these wonderful little stuffed eggplants into a steamer. So what I did here was I have a Dutch oven uh, from P the Pioneer Women set or Pioneer Woman set, I'm not sure. And it's the same general set of cooker that I have that I use for my other things. And what I did was I filled it with maybe a third um, of the pot with water and after doing that I what did I do yes I took I took or I'm taking a pie plate and it just happens to you know fit absolutely perfectly which is really a good thing and what I'm going to be doing is putting the eggplants on top of it and then covering it up with a second pie plate. Okay, so as I was showing, um, the water below, the idea is that the water below is heating. I'm putting the eggplants very, very, they're very delicate actually, and I would not say that this is an easy recipe. I would call this probably um, intermediate to advanced. It's, it's quite difficult, and again, um, I've never steamed anything <laughs> um, without a steamer and even that I did like years and years ago when I was a kid I think I'm not even sure about that so here I am just placing the eggplants on top and I'm going to see if I need to cover it or not I may have to cover it um, in which case I will okay, so as you can see there's a lot of steam and I was just ending the video when it stopped on me about the idea of covering which I did and does that that looks pretty good eh oh my gosh so how long has it been steaming about 10 minutes yes. okay so let me just poke it a bit and see no it's gonna steam a little bit more and I will be back mmm very delicious eggplant. okay so here you go this is rustic dim sum eggplant it was a little complicated to do it is not easy to do but it was fun to do and this is the first dim sum recipe of the new year 2021 so give it a try as i was saying stay well stay safe and thank you for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much have a great day and stay tuned for more delicious episodes